Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Hack, and in today's video, we're jumping right into the Outer Worlds, talking about what may be one of the best early weapons you can get in the game, at least the best that I've found so far, and that's the Grenade Launcher. Not only is this thing super powerful, dealing massive amounts of AoE damage, but it's just ridiculously fun, especially combined with the Outer Worlds slow motion time dilation mode. I mean, just look at that. So stay tuned for a quick walkthrough and a look at the weapon stats. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna start in the game's opening town, which is called Edgewater. And instead of going through the main entrance, you're gonna go over here to the left in this little abandoned section of houses and buildings. There's actually a lot of interesting loot here, so make sure you check this out. Uh, but we're gonna go into this first building on the left side. Once you open the door, uh, you'll see it's a spacer's choice uh, location. You'll get some uh, space rats, some vermin here that you need to deal with. Be careful, they can team up on you. I think there's about four or five inside. So just make sure to take care of those first, stepping back if you need to before you head on inside. So once you're inside, you can uh, loot a few interesting things here behind the desk if you want to. There's also a locked container that I wasn't able to get into at the moment. And also a vending machine. So with vending machines in the game, you can actually purchase items, consumables, even weapons, or you can sell your gear if your skill is high enough. Now speaking of skills, you do need the hacking skill to get into this terminal here inside the building. And that's going to basically unlock the uh, upper doors, which are going to lead us outside to where we can actually pick up the grenade launcher. Uh, so I don't know if there's another way around this, but for me, I already had enough hacking skill and I was able to unlock the doors upstairs. So you just head upstairs. There are a couple of random items here you can loot off the desks. And then head through the doors. Now on the left, you'll see a couple containers which have things like ammo. Uh, so definitely pick those up. But then turning around, you'll need to run across these boards, jump across to the other building's balcony. And here we have a huge container with ammo. And there we go, the grenade launcher is right there on top of the balcony. So you can see this does require heavy weapons, does pretty solid damage and has a knockback special effect. Here's what it looks like when you zoom in on it, and you can see all the stats here, 84 damage, uh, 141 DPS. The rate of fire is actually pretty quick. And again, it's using heavy ammo. It doesn't actually have its own type of ammo. It doesn't use grenades. Specifically, for example, you just use the standard heavy ammo type in the game, which there's plenty of, so you'll have lots of fun with this weapon. You can see it also has its own uh, sight, and it can be zoomed in slightly. And the range is actually pretty good. So with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're playing Outer Worlds, let me know in the comments what you think of the game so far, and if you picked up any other good early weapons. I would love to know what you guys think of the game so far if you're playing it. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around in the next video.